All right, here we are. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Showtime TV Productions, Facebook Live Edition. Today's topic of discussion for this evening is spoken word. And right now, I have two awesome spoken word artists. I have from New York, New York, Brooklyn, Oscar Sanders, and we have Woman to Zone, Crystal Boehner Norman. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. And I'm, I'm I'm across the bridge in the Bronx. Okay, okay. <laughs> you said you said Brooklyn. <laughs> uh, okay, Bronx. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. No biggie, no biggie. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here with you, Omar. Uh, pleasure to be here okay, with okay. you. Glad you invited me. Okay, likewise. So let, let's start off with Oscar. Um, how did you become a spoken word artist? What what, what got you into the passion of wanting to be a spoken word artist? It was basically like an it was an evolution of uh, the writing that I was already doing, um, in terms of screenwriting and filmmaking. And I, I was always a person that wanted to create characters and loved the dramatic, you know, I had a flair for it. So, you know, from writing scripts, I started writing books, you know, my most recent one, okay. fi uh, final, uh, Exposing Politics, a collection of poetry, okay. spoken word, social justice, spoken word. And, uh, and also um, uh, a city hall murder mystery. So I, I also like, you know, I like to do that as well. You know, and uh, I love characterization. I love creating things. So that became a natural evolution. And then from there, I had been a jazz guitarist in the 80s, uh, playing with Billy Bang and uh, Michael Carvin and a couple other people. And um, eventually I went behind the camera, started writing, started making movies. And then I guess that was that was my true spirit was to be in front of the camera. And that's what got me back out to do poetry. Because after doing screenwriting and creative writing, then I said, I started doing poetry book. That book became two plays that I performed called Exposing Politics, a play of acts and diplomacy, the act of listening before you speak. And, uh, and sometimes I hybrid them together and then it becomes a troubling state, uh, a poignant meditation of the uh, political landscape in America. And then uh, I will perform them in 75 minutes. Question, then add uh, interaction to it. Ask kids questions and have them imitate the characters that I imitate. Oh, okay. uh, from, it's fun into it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I started with nursing homes. I started with uh, rehabs uh, and hospitals. And now I'm starting with schools. But uh, I need some more, I need some more help in terms of, uh, because there's a lot of politics and a lot of, you know, obstacle course when you're talking uh, most board of education, you know, I mean, that's just, it's just bureaucrat, it's a bureaucracy. So, you know, uh, I'm still learning the ropes with that, you know, while doing a lot of stuff independently. You know. Okay, Crystal? Uh, I was kind of like born into it because my mother was a poet. Oh, um, yeah. Also, <laughs> she used to be one of Wilmington's known mistress of ceremonies she'd be on everybody's women's day program and she always wrote gospel poetry you know what i mean right okay. and i got older because i went into the preschool world and i became a preschool teacher and i too enjoy writing creating characters um being animated as you know i also have a comedian side of me martha and maddie you've seen our scripts and we're on um youtube so when I would go to events, I was invited to my first spoken word event. Oh my God, when I saw them uh, poets perform and without paper, I said, oh, that's it, paper's out the window, gone. I got to learn this thing by heart. You know what I mean? I got to feel it, I got to draw the emotion. They got to feel my emotion. And so that's what I did and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and then I had to draw that fine line because I used to do poetry in clubs. I used to be raunchy, but then, you know, I, I toned it down a little bit. <laughs> and I started doing it in church. And um, then I started doing it for different organizations and stuff like that. Um, you know, making a better a better world, better self. And so then um, I, um, I wrote a book, um, just like you did, my man. But mm -hmm. mine's called Separating Realities, and it's fiction. Oh, okay. It's an okay. awesome book. Okay. Um, and it has a poem to it, separating reality, which you can feel, and it's like a, a soul thing, you know what I mean? So that's that's what got me started. That's what got me into it. Okay, okay, now join us. Uh, we have Sharif Green, who's another spoken word artist. How you doing, Sharif? All right, how, how you doing, brother? Sharif. How's everybody? All right, all right. 
All right, all right, so Mr. Reval, how how did you get started to spoken word, man? I, all this time I know you, I didn't know you do spoken word. <laughs> what heavy, man? Like real okay. heavy. I've been all up in, not all, but down the East Coast, Delaware, Philly. Um, I don't think I ever performed in Jersey, but yeah, I've been around, on North okay. Carolina. Um, okay. <laughs> Ooh. I, I don't even know how I got started. I can't. I can't remember. I can't. Remember. <laughs> Maybe it was in college. Maybe they had like a. a yeah, or maybe in high school. <laughs> like a like it might just be natural, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. How long ago did you go to college, man? <laughs> I said, How long ago did you go to college? <laughs> 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 All right. So, so let me let me ask you three. I'm gonna start off with Crystal, then Oscar, then then Sharif. Um, when when you're performing in front of a crowd, a live audience, right? And, you, and you're spitting your rhyme, and you're spitting your poetry, and the audience be like, "Yeah, go ahead, say it," and they stand up and give, give you a round of applause. Uh, what's mm -hmm. that feeling like performing a spoken word in front of an audience? That is an awesome feeling for me. It's like a lion being locked in a cage. And when I get on stage, I am enraged. You feel me? So I feel that like deep down in my soul. It's like hard hit the side spitting. That's me. You know, I go get it. And they bring it. They make me bring the noise. <laughs> okay. Awesome can't explain. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Oscar? Um, what was the question again? I'm sorry. Um, what was it like? What is, what is, what is oh. Like? Performing for, for, for me, it's like it's, that's like true validation, you know. And 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 at the same time, that for an artist, that's when you totally know that you're clicking with the audience because you know we 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 can all put things out there and we we see it in all different platforms, art, painting, sculptors, you know. And people look and then they walk by or they don't give a damn. But when you see a person stand there. That's that's the ultimate validation. You got sculpted. You know, I mean, you know how many people walk by and see sculpting in the street installations, but then you see do you do see people standing there taking pictures. Right. So imagine if you're that artist. That means out of all the crap that's going on in the world, you actually saw me. You know, you actually heard me. You actually felt me. And that's what happens when you hear that crowd doing that. That means because you can go to you can go to shows. I've been to shows just like I've been to sporting events, and you can feel energy. Exactly. And you feel when there's no energy. Because I've seen it. It's, it's terrible. Like That's like going to, that's like I've been in the audience for like open mics, you know, and, and, and like a comedy, especially I did it a couple of times in Philly and in New York. And I was, oh, it's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal when you don't, when you don't connect. Right. You know, it's like people, are, you're giving, you're giving it. And they're looking at you like you got no talent. All right. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah. So, I mean, I, I guess it's kind of completely different for me. Um, at some point, I can remember it being like that in the beginning, but mm -hmm. at, the, at some point, like being, especially performing, became like therapy. So I didn't care what the crowd's reaction was. I didn't care what, you know, I, I would perform a poem that I needed. Like sometimes I write and I need to get that poem out. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, like it, it could be a crowd of young people and I feel like I got to get a poem about something that they might not even be able to relate to out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's kind of how, how it's been with me for probably like the past 10, 15 years. It's like my medicine. So I, I, go, on a, I go on a Zoom when I'm on stage. I don't even see the audience. You know? That's me too, Jerry. Me too. That's how I okay. am. All right, so so, so, so I, I want to hear some, some of these poems. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to... to, 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 to Recite one poem. We're gonna start off with uh, Crystal, Oscar, then Sharif. So okay. Ahead, ladies All right. first. <laughs> All right. Well, at, at first I was gonna do the one that goes with my my book, but right. I'm not gonna do that now. I switched up, and that's because like I don't know the two gentlemen that I'm performing with. I've never been on stage with you, but I, I feel your vibe, and I think you guys are really cool. But you need to know who am I? I am me, just like you are you, and he is he. I'm a woman of morals and standards and spirituality. You see, in me, you now have a new friend because I believe in confidentiality, yet you need to know who am I. I'm an artist, a teacher, and a poet. I have many more God-given talents. You see, you just need to know it. But I wear a canvas on my chest, near my heart, decorating my breast. Now my talents, these are all gifts from Jah above. So in all that I do, my brothers, I must show love. 
yet you need to know who am I. I'm the sister that walks down the street, and I'm not afraid of the challenges that life has had me to meet. But then again, I'm also the educator with the booming voice, and I make sure you know, Sheree, that you had a choice. You had a choice, you see. And then again, I'm also that girl that can swing that slang very fluently because really my age has nothing to do with me. Oh, I'll bring the noise if it needs to come. You see, I don't have a problem dealing with anyone. I can break it down and reach you right where you sit or stand. Never let it be said that I could not converse with my fellow man. Now, I'm sure after all this, you now know who I am. You see, because I am me, just like you are you, and he is he. And if you don't mind, it don't matter, because age ain't nothing but mind over matter. Trust me, if you can't make it, don't fake it. Step back and let somebody qualify take it. And who am I? Crystal Maynard Norman, straight out the box. And I know I'm off the chain. And when I'm gone, my words will remain, I say. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's beautiful. Okay, Oscar, you next. All right, all right. This is from this is from my current book, Ex Exposing Politics: A Collection of Poetry, Social Justice, Spoken Word, and I'm performing ye old spoken word in my favorite from my favorite movie, uh, Pirates of Caribbean. Uh, this is Captain Barbosa. I do it in the voice of Captain Barbosa. I dare ye sully thy reputation with unholy presumption. Cast you main starboard like ruin among the bounty. Why must I look at you for inspiration? Why must I look at you ain't misbehaving? I have been sweeping the dust boards beneath your cupboard for a score and a day, plotting for the moment to eradicate slavery away. Contemporary slavery is very much among us, like botulism a rejected fungus. Not in the hinterlands where some want it to be, or at least where it seemed to be. Within the far depths of your cranial bastion, within the delights of your Octavius fashions. Ah, let's gaze upon young Bishop. He's a dependable lad. You have hindered his pursuit to be a university grad. With your incessant dependent on low wages, void of future sages. Have you seen the price of mortgage rates lately? Hmm. Winnie thy whip and chinny thy chain, I labor tirelessly for the East India Trading Company for three bloody months and a day, learning the loin of my ilk, the texture of my silk. Shakespeare has nothing on me. He might write about it, but does he have the might? Ah, I doubt it. I have lived a life worth a tran, a goat. More than 10,000 pages I have wrote. Keep underestimating the desire of a Negro. He will sow your country into a greater country. And if you smoke weed, you'll probably get the munchies. Forget about that. 15 men on a ratchet wince chest. Yo, ho, ho, how we get in this mess? I am remiss of pirate matey. I got me own baby and I love her. Ahoy, ahoy. I am Lord Sanders. Oscar Sanders. Who the hell are you? <laughs> One day, Phoenix, you will be mine. Right now, my eyes are too weak to withstand your shine, so I keep my distance 24 hours behind. I spoke with your brothers, Orion and Leo. They said they sent you a week ago with Queen Virgo, but you could have been with Scorpio for all I know. That freak is always on your ass, but he knows his place is last. 365 days spent chasing you, and yet another year has passed. But I still give chase for a million more, because you touched the spot deep past my crust to my core. And timelessly across the day and night sky, we both soar. Can you hear me? Can you feel me? But most importantly, can you see me? Because, baby, I'm getting closer. And everything you touch, you give an essence. Even my Uncle Pluto is aware, of your, is aware of your presence. And now his cold, dead heart has a beat. He struggles for position with my father Uranus. If Father Jupiter knew of this love game, he would slain us. But so be it, because a thousand deaths is well worth one second of your time. 
and it seems the whole universe is against us uniting. My cousin Mars would rather see us fighting. It'd be me versus you inside Saturn's ring, but instead of a brawl, we can explain this love thing, but then again, maybe not. You see, my feelings for you has got me going crazy. My thoughts are hazy all because you amaze me. Realistically, we can only meet but a few times out of a decade. My mother's earth is then covered in my shade. I guess they call it an eclipse, but one day, Phoenix, you will be mine. That's the sun chaser. Woo! Mm. Off the chain. I like that. Outstanding. Oh, that, that go, look, 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 um, Sharif, that go my picture right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right. <laughs> You know, all right. um, awesome. with, all, with all that's going on in today's society, there's been a lot of demonstrations, there's, there's been a lot of protests of what's going mm -hmm. on with, with the beating of African Americans and other cultures from different races among the police officers, and there's a lot of a lot of things going on right now. Uh, Oscar, um, do you think poetry, or some sort of spoken word, has uh, played a role in um, equality, justice, protests, and demonstrating? Oh, yeah, man, because I, I think not only being it being education, uh, I mean, um, entertainment, it says it's also education. And, and a lot of people are not getting it and they're not getting the real facts and they're not getting the history the way they're supposed to get it. They're getting, it, they're getting corporate news, you know? So, you know, it's all filtered and it's controlled. And, you know, if you're, if you're younger and you're in school, forget it. You know, you're, you're definitely not getting anything. So poetry to me, actually is real school, you know? So, you know, this is like, that's like online training, you know? That's like continuing education, you know, for us, I feel. Artists are uh, always, to me, have had a profound impact on society, on revolutions, oh, you know? They jail, you know, they jail us, you know that, you know? Yeah, you have poets like Maya Angelou, Nikki Giovanni. Yes. Uh, Nikki, uh, uh, yeah. Nikki Giovanni. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Tony yeah. Morrison, Tony Morrison, yeah. yeah. Those yeah. Messages in, in those yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sharif, Oscar, and Crystal, who are some of the poets or spoken word artists that, that, that you come to admire? Let's start off with Sharif. Um, I like, it's a brother called Amir Suleiman that I like a lot. Um, historically, I like, um, uh, what's my girl's name? Emily Dickerson. Okay. Um, um, Amir Suleiman. I, I think they're the one oh, in the dead prayers. That's my ones that come to the, you know, that, you know, that, that come to me instantly. Yeah. All right. All right, Crystal? Um, I like, I definitely like some of um, Nikki Giovanni's stuff, but I also like, I can't leave my homeboys out. The twin poets, I love them. They are so current and relevant and can speak on any topic. Um, mm -hmm. And because I came up uh, working different venues with her, I also love Franchon because she's another sister that'll tell the truth. Right. Um, Maya Angelou, definitely, I love her. Um, old school going back. Um, and when we just said the revolution, oh, my boys, when the revolution comes, the, um, the last poets. I love them. Yeah, the last four was, There won't be no commercials when the revolution comes. Mm -hmm. One that I like. Okay, Oscar. Uh, last poets. Oh, uh, I'm I'm trying to remember this young lady. I said her name Sunny Anderson. Sunny Anderson, Sunshine Anderson. Yeah, I think she's from out. She's out from out of Jersey. Some of them. Ah, oh, man, I don't really know their names. Of. Uh, uh, Gil Scott Heron. Okay. Uh, everybody that uh, Crystal said, you know, the, the usual suspects, you right. know, the legendary, the Nikki Giovannis, you know, right. the Angela Davis, of course, mm -hmm. uh, Langston Hughes, you know. Okay. When, when, when you three are at uh, a venue, I said, let's say, for example, the venue is all spoken word, and, and you're amongst you, your peers, your cohorts. People who do spoken word just like you. Um, what, what is the feeling of being surrounded by other spoken word artists? Let's start off with Sharif. Um, I don't know. It depends. If it's a slam, um, if it's a slam, like if it's a slam, the right. poem that I'm uh, like, I really perform my poems. So, like, I got a, a poem called um, 
I forgot what it's called. Like, but I, I perform my poems if it's a slam. So I'm real animated. Um, right. You know, it's not all words. So I'm feeling like I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like getting ready for battle. You know what I mean? If, if it's not a slam and it's just like a, a vibe, you know, that's cool too. And then I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get my poem together in my head because right. being around competition, you know what I mean? You do want your poem to come out clean. You know what I mean? You you want to make sure, and, and then I, I know sometimes I run it in my head so much I start messing myself up. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, uh, yeah. So I guess if it's you want it to come out clean, if it's just a regular jam, if it's a slam, then I'm feeling like, you know, what I'm gonna say to stand out, what I'm gonna say to to really impact everybody. It's an interesting point. I'm Oscar. Yeah, well, like uh, like Sharif said, well, practice, practice, practice for me, you know, so like I'm always going to be ready. But what I get from other spoken word artists, too, is a lot of it. For me, it's been a lot of energy, you know, and uh, a lot of times I wind up if I'm going different places uh, like. Uh, across the country. Right. I, I usually we all we all lock in once we find out who we are you know we're very cordial I haven't I haven't experienced like you know any like jealousy now right. I have I have experienced you know that stuff is around you know the jealousy and the envy kind of stuff that kind of energy but I'm talking about like on the stage when or you when you're backstage who you meet I get nothing but love from them and and in the same way I think it's it's, it's great it's great you know because it's, it's artists together you know, and, and we're, we're feeding and, and, and supportive of each other at the same time. You know? Definitely, definitely. Crystal? My answer is going to probably be kind of different okay. because when I go into a venue, especially if it's my first time there, you know, like I cordial speak almost like I don't know you. And that's because I want to be to myself. I want to catch the vibe. I want to see what's going on and how everybody else is putting it out there. You feel me? So you, you've you been in plenty of venues with me, Omar. You see me. I be by myself. I don't mix and match, but we do all that when it's all over. You feel me? Because I know that I got to pull it from the muscle because number one, um, in fact, it was a couple months ago, I went to a first time venue, White's Gallery, Diverse Verses gave it, David Harris, who am I love, and he had 10,000 poets there. Some of them I knew, some of them I didn't, you know what I mean? Right. But this was my first time there. And y'all know me, um, I might not act like it, but I'm definitely a senior. But when I get on stage, like I said, I become enraged and I do me, you feel me? And because I have three sons of various ages, and so that's what keeps me vibing, that's what keeps me up. So I gotta know that I gotta, when I get up there, I know I can't go up there talking about something. I'm so glad to be here today. Yo, what's up? You know, I got to hit it. I got to come out swinging. I got to punch that thing. So, and that's what I do because that's who I am. And, and that's what I'm used to. So that's what, that's how I am. I stay to myself until my act is all over. And after that, we can talk, hug, whatever. Definitely, definitely. No, 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 no. Chris, I want to stay with you and then move on to Oscar. Now, I know, I'm not sure if Sharif wrote, wrote, wrote a book or not, but I know you two have wrote a book. Um, what's the book about and how can people get your book? Okay. Um, the e for the e format of separating realities is on Barnes and Noble and Amazon. And I'm gonna just hit the blurb right quick. It says, "Picture this: the man of your dreams, a new house, some lingerie, rose petals. That all sounds awesome, right? Until your man goes down to the front lobby and disappears from your sight. But what about that girl that rocks your world? And she got her own. She's independent. Great job, social and sexy." except she's in love with a ghost. I promise you, the answers to all these statements are true and they waiting for you as you begin separating reality. Or you can go on my website, I'll ship it to you, I'll autograph it, um, and you can get the paperback from me, but if you want the e-format to read on your phone, your laptop, your Kindle or whatever, then you can go on Barnes and Noble or um, Amazon. Okay. And uh, that's www. I'm sorry. <laughs> www the realities r e a l t i z e dot com okay oscar oh outstanding what's the uh, uh, crystal what's your is it book is separating what it's called separating realities you know when i think oh, of first thing I, I did the cover <laughs> woo woo shout out for the artist first thing i think when i hear separate it sounds like physics <laughs> sounds like a physics book you know no. from science definitely science but it's science it's all science <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, it, it is a science. 
This is uh, my current book is called Exposing Politics, a collection of poetry, social justice, spoken word. And it's everything that's current. Flint water crisis, uh, pay for play scandal in Albany, New York, uh, uh, the police corruption scandal, uh, how getting jobs uh, that take us to another place, uh, mm -hmm. create new problems. More, uh, as uh, Puffy said, more money, more problems. But I got new levels, new devils, you know? Yeah. So uh, and you can and you can pick this up on Amazon. But if you want it, if you want it autographed, then you need to come to my website, the Malcolm Shop at Malcolm X, the Malcolm Shop at MalcolmEntertainment.com. Okay, sweet. M-A-L-C-O-M Entertainment. Yes. Okay, Sharif, I'm going to give you our last word for any words of encouragement for any 11, 10, 12 year olds who want to become spoken word artists. What words of advice do you have for them? Be yourself and write from the heart. Uh, keep a keep your journal um, near keep your journal near you so you can jot down your ideas and and um and just hold on to your journals forever. Um, for me, when I write a poem, I I, I rarely write a poem. I um it it rehearses itself in my head for years. That's, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And then wow. so so when I do come to writing it, I already I already know it. You know what I mean? Right. Like. Mm -hmm. Like it has to, every line has to mean that much to me. And if I was to all put them together, I, I probably got a good 20, 30 poems. You know what I mean? And um, I didn't even know I was going to be reciting a poem today. But when uh -huh. you said it, three of them jumped into my head. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the fact that, you know what I mean? That, and that was just one of them. So yeah, just, just keep your journal near you. Jot them down. Keep your journals forever uh, of, of your poems and, and write from your heart, man. Okay, so um, all three of you were awesome guests. We gotta do this again, and um, and this is the next time I'm gonna do it. It's gonna do like over an hour um, episode, but, but but this will show on my TV show on Comcast Channel 190. So that's why it was a 30 minute segment. But we're all gonna stay in touch, and uh, thank you all for for coming on, and thank the viewer audience for watching another edition of Showtime TV. Outstanding. Thank you, Omar. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Nice meeting everybody, Sharif, nice Krista. Keep it going. We go. We gonna share the stage one day. Yeah. I see yeah. you somewhere, Miss okay. Chris. I see you perform. Have a good one. All right. Yeah, it's out. You All right, take care, everybody. All right, All guys. Right.